so I just finished watching Queen L Eats and her husband, right? But the name of her YouTube channel is Queen L Eats. Thank God it's almost time to break my fast. So, because as you know, I eat 10 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon, and nothing till the next day, right? Thank goodness this time when I happened to watch their video, it was almost time to, you know, to end my fasting. So that hunger that I always feel after watching their video, I could finally do something about it. So this is what today's video is about. To make some porridge. I'm going to make some flour porridge. So what I am going to do is pat some flour. And I want to show you how I pat my flour before I make my flour porridge. Now you can patch flour and not only use it for porridge. You could use it for a lot of sweet treats. You would have a lot of um, Muslims and Hindu treats. You would see around Diwali and around Eid. And most of their treats, flour treats, would be patched flour they would use. That kind of thing. So I would leave two channels that have a lot of... Uh, recipes as to how to make some of these treats that would be taste of trini and trini kitchen two people that i love dearly so you would go over and check them out for those treats i will leave the link in the cards above and also in the end screen so let's get cracking with the patch flour recipe and also don't forget to check out queen l eats channel that have me feeling this hungry right now and thankfully my fast is about to finish so I could go and do something about that hunger that their videos always leaving me in so come on in the kitchen with me and let's put this hunger to rest let's go and make some patch flour for our flour porridge <laughs> you haven't come across Queen L E's channel it's a mukbang channel and whoa her food the food that they always eat always leaving you hungry her husband always eat the healthier version and she always I'm not going to say unhealthy version because uh, look I love to watch them right but so check out their YouTube channel real nice couple real real nice people so I think he's trying to get her on the healthy bandwagon, but let me see if she will let me see if she will take him up on that offer. But you know we will still want to see the type of uh mukbangs that we're getting, right? Oh boy. Well, Queen L Gill, let me make this patch flour to make this porridge because you and your husband have me feeling very hungry from his healthy version of that mac and cheese with the cauliflower and stuff and yours with your crab and, and, and all of that. So you all have me feeling very hungry and as I said just now, thank God, it's time to break my fast so I can do something finally about that hunger. I keep rambling on and on. So let's get into this video about how to make this patch flour for all those lovely, lovely treats or porridge that I am going to make right now. And as I said, the links for Queen L Eats channel would be in the card. The link for um, Taste of Trini would be in the cards and Trini Kitchen. It will all, all those channels would be in the cards and in the end screen. All right, let's go. To start, I am going to weigh out one pound of flour. I am weighing out one pound of all purpose flour because when you do patch the flour, it becomes less also i want to make some pastry dough so i want to make enough to make my porridge and to make some pastry dough so i can make some beef pie all right so after weighing this out now you can sift the flour before you weigh it or, or patch it or you can patch it and then sift it so that's what i am doing i am going to sift after so as you're seeing here, I have the one pound to my preheated pan. I am adding my flour, all-purpose flour. 
I am going to patch this for 10 minutes on medium low heat. So I that's why I preheated the pan so from the time it got into the pan it would start cook heat not patching immediately. Alright. So this here is three minutes in. This point here I am at seven minutes in and it is slightly off white. You're not going to burn the flower, you don't want the flower brown. You just want a nice off-white color and the patching is just to take away that flowery taste so it wouldn't taste so flowery when you're making your porridge. And also as I mentioned, you can use it for a lot of sweet treats. And don't forget those links that I mentioned in the cards and in the end screen for those channel Taste of Trini and Trini Kitchen. This is at 10 minutes here and I'm done now. I am going to place, sift it and place some in a container, put some bay leaf and a stick of cinnamon. But let me show you what it is I did before placing it in the container. And don't forget to check out how I dried my bay leaf. That link would be above. So this is what I did. I took some of the patch flour, put it in a sifter and I sift that flour. You want that flour smooth. Even though there is some little lumps there, I put that in my mortar and I just give it a good little pound and I keep sifting until all was sifted and this is what it looks like there. And this is the end result before putting it in the mortar. You see how lovely it looks. And the cinnamon and the bay leaf once remaining there when, when it is stored will continue to make that flower taste good all right my peeps so we finished with our patch flower so now we're going to make our porridge so look out for that recipe soon where we make some porridge with our patch flower and as you can see we have the cinnamon and the bay leaf inside of there you can see the bay leaf there, the cinnamon here. So, and I'm, and I'm not going to use all of this to make porridge. I already have some for the porridge. So this is what I intend to use to make some pastry dough because I'm feeling for some um, beef pies. So I'm going to use this to make some pastry dough. I really like how pastry dough tastes with patch flour for some reason. So I'm going to try, I'm going to make some pastry dough to make some beef pie with the remaining of my patch flour. So you can patch the flour with cinnamon, grind cinnamon and pieces of bay leaf in it while you're patching it. So you know to put some nice spice and flavor into your patch flour. But I tend to do this, the whole spice and the whole bay leaf after I have finished patching the flour. And it will continue to add a lot of flavor to the flour. And in case I want to use the flour for something else, I don't have that amount of spice and bay leaf pieces in the flour while I want to do something else beside porridge. Hence the reason why I said I want to make some pastry dough with the remaining of my patch flour. So you see why I don't like to add any type of spice to the flour while I'm patching it. So you can add spice while you're patching it. You don't bump to add the spice. You could just patch the plain flour like I did. And if you wish it is not required, you, you can add spice to the flour after it is done. And leave it in there just to keep bringing a lot of flavor to your flour. And it smells so lovely with the spice and the cinnamon and that nice patchy smell. Oh, it's awesome. So thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the two channels that I mentioned. Sorry 3, Queen L Eats, Taste of Trini and Trini Kitchen. Those two channels you could go to get some other ideas as to what you can do with patch flour and different type of sweet treats you can make and queen l eats is a mukbang channel she and her husband her husband mostly do the healthier version and she eat the normal i so love that channel 
I just love their personality. I, I just love to watch them. Even though I'm really hungry, hence the reason why I'm making this porridge right now. <laughs> but it is worth it. The little hungry feeling is worth it because really, really, really nice couple. Really, really nice content. I hope you give them a check. Alright guys, let me go and make my breakfast.